What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. It is Halloween Horror Nights week, the week before Halloween Horror Nights. We want to get you guys pumped. We're a little late on this announcement, but we thought we'd give our thoughts regardless because we do have some thoughts about these next announcements that are coming out. Uh, we got three brand new scare zones announced. We got one new, sh not new, one returning show, should I say. We got one new maze announcement and the Terror Tram theming announced. A lot to talk about. Let's all start it off. Let's kick it off with the newest maze returning for 2021. The last time we saw it was in 2018, which is Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. Uh, you know what? Like, okay, so for those who were speculating and, and you know, much like us and stuff, and, you know, we saw a lot of, you know, things going to happen with Halloween 3. There was the Silver Shamrock sign, the, the Rosa Shannon Motel. That was a big thing when we broke that one and stuff. And, you know, there was a lot of, you know, behind it of why they changed it and stuff and you know yada 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 we all know that universal owns the rights to that film i was just watching it last night so i can confirm that um but it, it you know just to see michael myers come back to the the, the um the event it, it's it, it makes more sense commercially than it does to have halloween 3 my personal opinions about it maybe they couldn't do halloween 3 maybe they wanted to do it right and they didn't have maybe the budget to complete it, uh, how they how they envisioned it, and they want to give fans a definitely a, a good experience of walking through that. Um, but much like Rob said uh, in in a text I had with them, you know, I'm giving all the haunts usually this year a, a pass. I know with with COVID there was a lot of budget issues, and we're just we should all just be thankful we're getting something this year. Uh, and I think Sammy, you'll agree with me on this that you know we're just thankful to have the major haunts back in general. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but you built a maze. Should have finished it. It's not like you don't put black walls in everything. Except us. Because you gave us white walls. White walls. Um, so, I mean, I get the whole you want to do it justice, but of all things to bring back, like, really, like Halloween 4, not even the original. Not even Halloween 2018. Not even H2O. No, H2O. Halloween 4. And it's like, I can I can see Exorcist. Oh, it's been five years. But right. 2018, it's been three years. Or in the case of, because of COVID, two haunts. You had literally one haunt break. Like, come on. Come on, Universal. Do better. Talk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, but I guess this is the year of let's just bring it back. If it's not dead, bring it back. And if it is dead, we'll just revive it. Revive it, exactly. Uh, because um, uh in the words of John Murdy, you can never kill the monster. That's true. It always comes back. Never kill the monster, man. But you know what? There is supposed to be a surprise ending from what John Murdy tweeted on Twitter this past week when it got announced. Um, so I'm excited to see what they do with this time around. Maybe there's some stuff that they want to include. They wanted to include in the 2018 version that they just couldn't, and they're gonna finally get to do so in this one. Maybe so. Uh, you know what? I I'm just happy that I get to see Michael Myers again. It's been a while since I've seen him. 2018 yeah. since I've seen him. So I I'll be yeah. happy with that. So. And, and we've got in Leatherface too. So we get yeah. two big titans. Two big titans, man. So should be uh, a lot of fun. I mean, it'll, it'll be it'll, as long as it's better. And House of a Thousand Corpses was, I'll be happy. Yeah, that's all. That's all we need is just just be better than House of a Thousand Corpses. That's all we ask, you know. That's all, that's all we're we ask. asking. The second announcement that got announced actually had Awaken the Spirits, but the theming got announced on Monday as well was the return of the Terror Tram. Uh, Sammy, you for one, no matter what the theme is, you've never gotten to experience the Terror Tram. Is that right? Yeah, I've only got to see it on the old uh, YouTube. On the YouTube, so this will be Sammy's first year to experience the Terror Tram. So that's going to be a fun. Kind of a, a new area yeah. that you've never got to experience while walking, at least on. I mean, you've probably done the tram in the past and passed by. I've it, done it you? one time. I've only yeah. been to Universal during the day one time. Yeah, but so, I mean, uh, I'm excited to ride the tram because yeah, I mean, that's nice. It'd be nice to walk. It's it's cool to walk. In my opinion, I love walking the Bates Motel. Yeah, area. yeah, the, the Bates Motel is cool. The War of the World uh, set is awesome. Yeah, you know, I'm just not looking forward to climbing up to the house, but you know. It's a short hill, and that's all you got to climb. Yeah, and this year, thankfully. Hey, thankfully. thank you. 
but we don't get toxic, toxic tunnel. Toxic, 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 toxic tunnel. Yeah, which sucks, um, you know. So the theming for the tram is the ultimate purge. So what, basically what it is is they're going to take every purge film ever, some of the most iconic costumes and whatnot, and terrorize you on the on the tram, which is going to be a lot of fun walking through that. It's going to be the purge again. So I have not seen the forever purge yet. A lot of people told me it sucked. Um, but I am looking forward to seeing what's going to come on the tram this year. So it should be fun, right? Yeah, and I'm what I'm looking forward to most, I know that they've done this historically on the tram, is once you get off, they got a line of chainsaws, and they come. That's fun. They go. A lot of fun. And I'm excited for that. You know what I mean? Because you just get your adrenaline pump in, and they're going to run at us. It's going to be a good time. So yeah. I'm excited for the tear trap. Even though theme, you know, once again, recycled theme. But I think the theme's good. Um, movies, kind of downhill. But I think it's a cool theme, especially if they're bringing back some of the more iconic costumes. There's some really cool costumes that have been yeah. done. Um, so that'll be cool. And and like you said, it's just going to be a nice, refreshing. We got a break from the terror tram, and now it's back. So um, it'll be good. And be a lot of fun. you get to walk by the Bates Motel. So yep. yay. Yep. Um, a show returning to Horror Nights, which no one's excited for, is the Jabberwockies. <laughs> Uh, they're returning to Horror Nights with their unique mix of dance, special effects, music, and humor. I don't know where the humor is at. So. Yeah, well, it's funny because you keep wishing for something else to happen, and they keep bringing it back. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's funny to them. It sucks if you're the audience, but it's funny because they get to laugh at our misery. All right, well, we're not getting I know it. we're probably going to watch it though cuz uh air AC, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll you know, see. You know, a little a little a little break, a little roll in the action to <gasps> We'll see. Go back. We'll see. I'm going one time. I'm not going to make it my mission to try to well, no, watch it. No, it's definitely not a it's definitely not like, "Oh my god, we got to go watch the Jabberwockies." But you know, if I don't know what the weather's going to be like on September 19th, but if it's a really hot day, if we need a quick little Go on Jurassic World. Well, yeah. I mean, we could drive Jurassic World the entire time for all I'm concerned. <laughs> as long as we go through Hill House. Fine. We're, we're good. Hit Hill House, Jurassic World 15 times. POV. Then we're Here really we going to be going up and down big time right there. <laughs> yeah, but I get to sit as we go up and as we go down. On the escalators? Well, Jurassic World, you could just have to. Oh, you're talking about going back and forth to Hill House, so, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Just. Just the one time. Just keep going through Jurassic World. Just go through Hill House once and then Jurassic World. World and uh, all right. But, yeah, so Jabberwocky's returning. So let's talk about some scare zones, man. There's not quite a lot this year. Um, three. There's three scare zones. One of them got announced at Awaken the Spirits during the Halloween Horror Nights panel, which is the Universal Monsters Silver Scream Queens, spelled with the Z. That is hilarious, in my opinion. They keep doing with the Zs, and I love it. Um, it synopsis is the Bride of Frankenstein is bringing classic female movie monsters back to the grave to strike fear into the hearts of men. Sinister slasher, uh, Sinister Sisters unite. Should be a lot of fun. And Slash is doing an exclusive track for that scare zone, so I can't wait to hear it. Ooh wee! It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Chainsaw Rangers, uh, one that a lot of people are really looking forward to. Which just the name didn't catch my attention, but I think it's still gonna be pretty cool. But um, get ready to howl, roar, and bellow the fear. Of your uh, hounded, but a, by a bloodthirsty band of chainsaw wielding maniacs wearing grotesque, 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 grotesque. I had it right the first time. Uh, animal masks. So it's going to be a bunch of chainsaw people in animal masks. Sounds like a good time to me. <laughs> and the last one, the one that I'm looking forward to the most, that no one for some reason is not looking forward to. Uh, Demon City, the Manhattan neighborhood has gone to hell. A diabolical new nightclub, Inferno, has opened with demonic uh, clientele straight from the underworld. That's got to be kind of like a slap in the face for not getting Beetlejuice, right? Because the uh, name of the uh, place in Beetlejuice is the Inferno, too. So, I don't know. Uh, what do you think about these new scare zones, man? Um, two of the three I'm really excited for. The other one, I don't know. I'm... I'm indifferent. I'm excited for Chainsaw Rangers, and I'm excited for Queens. What is he? Um, but uh, the, the devil one, I don't know. 
um, because we we didn't get any art from it, so I'm not I'm, I'm not sure what the the um, this characters are gonna look like. I'm not sure, like the, the theming is like Manhattan, so it's gonna be in the top know. then. Yeah, I'm assuming it's gonna be at the entrance. Um, maybe yeah, but a little back to back scare zone right there. Yeah, I mean they did that last year. Well, we do have confirmation. It looks like the fire towers are returning this year. That's cool. So I'm excited for that. I'm not gonna try to stand by him though. That's gonna be hot. Don't be a I pussy. Sweat. I sweat, bro. I sweat too. But I sweat more because I'm fatter. They have an awesome sound, and then they go. Oh, do they? So. Oh, hey, really cool to see. I mean, you know what? Like I said, man. I mean, with with the mazes we have so far, Netflix is the Haunting of Hill House, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Exorcist. Universal Monsters, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives, Halloween for the Return of Michael Myers, Curse of Pandora's Box. Don't forget AMC's The Walking Dead. Oof. And the Terror Tram, The Ultimate Purge. Uh, we got at least, uh, what is it right here? One, two, three, four, four eight walkthrough attractions. So that's going to be a lot of fun with three scare zones and a show uh, with hey. most of the rides being open too. So that should be should be a lot of fun. At one point, we were thinking there was only going to be two and then like four. So, yeah. like, so now we have like eight. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's a win. Yeah. So, I mean we didn't get we didn't get two things I think a lot of fans were yeah begging for and that Beetlejuice and Halloween three, but right. I mean we have eight eight attract I mean eight attractions is eight, eight attractions. attractions. Yep. Well, with that being said, what do you guys think about the new announcements for the the scare zones, the show, and the Terra Tram and Halloween Four? Uh, let us know down in the comments or DM us on Instagram at the Knights of Horror or Twitter at Knights of Horror. Uh, let us know your thoughts, and uh, we'll see you guys in the fog. You're moving.